Um, am I going to make a practical series on GraphQL? I actually do want to do a kind of like a beginner's GraphQL and kind of like a path. So well, let me show you. Well, let me turn off my sound. Have you seen these before? So there's these nice little roadmaps to learning web development. They have one for front end, back end. It'd be kind of nifty to have one for uh, GraphQL. Or at least have a, um, I want to make a video and I've been meaning to make a video about kind of just the GraphQL landscape and all the different tools and whatnot that are in it. So I want to create a video kind of like that and then also kind of like a beginner intro into GraphQL and kind of the approach to learn it. <clears throat> so I'll probably be doing that. There's a ton of videos I want to make after I'm done with Code Ponder. I have a lot of ideas. Where are you at in the process of learning GraphQL? Are you familiar with like the concepts? I usually, I think I started by doing this. What's up, Lulu? I just read through pretty much the GraphQL learn to kind of get the spec of it. Yeah, so I think how I approached it is I kind of like read through this and I got like a general understanding of like what the heck GraphQL was. And then I think I went through some of the Apollo stuff to learn that. Ta said, hey Ben. There, just finished my DevOps stuff. You did some DevOps stuff for today? Yeah, if you haven't already, I'd recommend checking this out. And I haven't actually gone through it yet, but Apollo released a new tutorial. where you can learn about the Apollo platform and kind of the Apollo tools. So that could be interesting. Ooh, what is BuddyWorks? Why'd you switch from uh, GitHub CI or GitLab CI? I'm actually considering doing some GitLab CI stuff. Yeah, the Gatsby tutorial is pretty good. I went through that when I was creating a site and it was nice. Gatsby in general is really nice. Yes, I agree with you, Luna. The Apollo client or Apollo link state is really annoying. I've never tried that before. Buddy works. I've never heard of them. Interesting. Nice, they have a free version. Oh, sweet. Hey, Nat. So you like it better because you can kind of just build it with like a GUI drag and drop sort of thing. Yeah, I'd love to see what your pipeline looks like. Mr. Demon Wolf, what's up, man?
this is something that I definitely want to improve is my DevOps continuous integration. I'm not doing a great job and like, I currently don't really have anything great set up for my project for Saffron. And so uh, I definitely want to add some kind of CI to it and give it a nice little deployment. I'm currently using Docu for it right now, which works pretty good. And like a nice advantage is it's really cheap. Like I just have it on DigitalOcean and I have Docu on top of it, which is kind of like handling it for me and acting like a Heroku. What server host do you use? Uh, right now I'm using, have been using DigitalOcean recently. Mostly because, uh, yep, mostly because it has like good price pretty much. And I can just like put a ton of stuff on it. I'm trying to set up GraphQL and I need advice from you. How is the best way you recommend to generate types? Uh, I'm currently liking this package the best right now. GraphQL code generator. So go to graphqlcodegenerator.com. Vulture runs better. What do you mean by runs better? Do you get like better performance? I, I was using Vulture before uh, I did DigitalOcean. Um, but then DigitalOcean dropped their prices and I just went over to DigitalOcean because they have really nice docs. I could see Vulture being uh, better performance though, but I haven't compared them. And I think I still have some stuff maybe running on it. I definitely do like that they have like a smaller one. Have any of you guys tried out this place? They have even cheaper than Vulture. Um, and I actually have a bot running for this Twitch chat right now on a dollar. So I have a dollar VPS or VP, yeah, VPS that I got from Sky Silk. They're super cheap. They they're like a new startup. So I have this dollar plan and I'm getting, I don't even see where it says how many, how much hardware I'm getting. Maybe they have it somewhere else, I can't remember. Yeah, I agree. They seem extremely shady because the other thing is they have this whole sky points thing, which I didn't understand at all why they were doing this. This really confused me. So they have this thing called sky silk rewards and like you earn these points. Oh, you got banned. Actually, uh, same thing happened to me. I had to verify the the purchase with them because my credit card declined them. Cause I guess, uh, yeah, I guess they're sketchy, but they have this whole sky points thing. I don't know why they would even do that. Check discord. There's a simple pipeline. Let me turn on my uh, stream mode real quick. All right, so first up, it looks like you activate, or okay, you just move to your example to .env, I assume to just set up the correct position for your environment variables. Then you build your Docker image, then you deploy a helper service, and you update a helper service. What is the helper services? Did you already set up email hosting? Currently using SendGrid for email hosting. Uh, pretty much the only reason for this is because of this. Or are you talking about, uh, so that's what I use for sending transactional emails. And pretty much the only reason I'm using that is because of this student developer pack. If we go to SendGrid, 
Where are they? Maybe they don't offer it anymore. Oh, they maybe they don't offer it anymore. Anyway, I get like 20,000 emails that I can send a month for free, which is super nice. Yeah, for personal email, I'm currently using this. Megadu.com. And pretty much why I went with it is you can get unlimited domains for $4 a month, which is kind of insane. I haven't found something similar, so I've just been jamming that. That's a hover service is a GitHub bot that interacts with the building, kind of like GitHub Classroom, but better. Oh, sweet. I don't think you want that because it took a lot of maintenance. Oh, setting up your own email hosting. Yeah, but so far I'm I haven't used them like I think I've had the, this place for like maybe a month. So I can't say like <clears throat> how good they are besides their pricing. Yeah, you do have to use your own email client with Magadu, but I'm totally fine with that. I pretty much just have it linked up to my Gmail. So my Gmail I can receive this and like my personal email combined which has worked out decently well i may move away from gmail at some point though and use like i never got into like using the mail client for a uh, mac maybe at some point i'll do that You should use Outlook and Office 365. What's the, what's the pricing for Outlook? A twenty five a month. How many emails do you get? I guess you get everything plus you get all the Microsoft products. Oh, you can only get custom email if you get the $12 one or more. Yeah, if I start using the Microsoft products more, maybe I'll do that. It's one of you know, you can use shared mailboxes. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe at some point I'll give that a try. If I need more stuff, if you're looking for an open source email prior, look at Disroot. Now this is a really weird uh, home page right here. Free and free and secure email accounts for your desktop. This feels like a weird site. I feel like your email may be just blocked when you send emails with this. Interesting. All right, why don't we get started coding?